Now, Newton's first law is clearly against our daily experiences. Things that move don't move along a straight line and don't continue to move. And the reason is there's gravity. And there is another reason. Even if you remove gravity, then there is friction. There's air drag. And so things will always come to a halt. But we believe, though, that in the absence of any forces, indeed an object, if it had a certain velocity, would continue along a straight line forever and ever and ever. Now this law, this very fundamental law, does not hold in all reference frames. For instance, it doesn't hold in a reference frame which itself is being accelerated. Imagine that I accelerate myself right here. I either jump my horse or I take my bicycle or my motorcycle or my car and you see me being accelerated in this direction. And you sit there and you say, aha, his velocity is changing. Therefore, according to the first law, there must be a force on, on him. And you say, hey there, do you feel that force? And I said, yeah, I do. I really feel that, I feel someone's pushing me. Consistent with the first law. Perfect, the first law works for you. Now I'm here. I'm being accelerated in this direction. And you all come towards me, being accelerated in this direction. I say, aha, the first law should work. So these people should feel a push. I say, hey there, do you feel the push? And you say, I feel nothing. There is no push, there is no pull. Therefore, the first law doesn't work from my frame of reference if I'm being accelerated towards you. So now comes the question, when does the first law work? Well, the first law works when the frame of reference is what we call an inertial frame of reference. And an inertial frame of reference would then be a frame in which there are no accelerations of any kind. Is that possible? Is 26100, is this lecture hall, an inertial reference frame? For one, the Earth rotates about its own axis and 26100 goes with it. That gives you a centripetal acceleration. Number two, the Earth goes around the Sun. That gives it in a centripetal acceleration, including the Earth, including you, including 26100. The Sun goes around the Milky Way, and you can go on and on. 